Hi, welcome to the first in a series of videos we're making to explore some of the features of PatchBay. In this first video, we're going to be demonstrating how to set up a brand new feed. And so if you're logged in and you're on the PatchBay homepage, um, you can scroll down and click inside this yellow box to connect an input. And this will take us to the interface for setting up a new feed. Um, the first thing that we need to set up is to decide whether the feed is going to be automatic or manual. Use an automatic feed if you can tell PatchBay the URL of your data and you want PatchBay to pull it from you whenever it needs to. Otherwise, set up a manual feed so that you can push data to PatchBay whenever you want. I'm going to set up a manual feed and give the feed a title. Um, I'm going to add a couple of tags So for the first two data streams which we're going to add, which are going to be temperature and humidity. Um, I'm going to give a description of what the uh, feed is. And then I'm going to add in the home page of the website, which in this case is PatchBay, but obviously feel free to add in your own home page. Um, and I'm going to add in a contact email address. Um, users of PatchBay can contact each other through PatchBay itself, so you only need to put in an email address if you want it to be publicly visible for non-PatchBay users. And then we're going to set the location, which is in London. And you double click to place the marker and then you can adjust it when it's in the right location. In the meantime, I'm just going to put in location, which is the Patch Bay office, and the elevation, which I know is 13 meters. So once the location is set up, we can then set the exposure, which is going to be indoor because the sensor is based inside. Um, it's a fixed sensor and it's in the physical domain. So we can click save and Patchway will create a new feed which we can update. In this case, the feed identity is 2378 uh, and we can use this number to read and write to this feed using the Patchway API.